Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I've got one of Tonic's 2023 birthday launches to share with you. This one is called the Festive Home Decor Delight die set and it makes a beautiful little house gift box and the roof is the lid. I'm doing this because that's the kind of shape of the roof as you can see it fits on here and it's really really pretty. Now it's called Festive Home and I would normally think of that as Christmas but I'm looking at it here and I see lots of little things that you could use for a little Halloween box as well for maybe some little Halloween treats. So it also comes with a beautiful stencil which you can see here. Some sort of tile effects and brick effects and that one and two little borders, a heart one and a little floral type border there. And then there's a beautiful little stamp set that coordinates with it as well. And that's on here. I'll show you that closer in a little moment or two. So don't forget at this stage if you haven't already subscribed to my channel I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell and if you enjoy the video at the end please give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment and that sort of encourages me and helps me on my way to know what to bring to you next in my next videos. So thank you very very much for all of that. Now a closer look at this uh, 58 dies in the set so that's a lot and there's lots and lots of little bits and pieces so I've got it on my big magnetic stand which I've just folded down on top of the desk here at the moment but I don't want to lose any of those because there are tiny little bats flying about here and little ghosts and all sorts of things and I don't want them on the floor I want to keep them right where they belong. So first of all I'm going to have a very quick look and see what we can use for other things uh, so definitely not just the box itself not just a 3D one lots of you are asking me can any of these dies be used in cards? Well, this is a classic example where I can say absolutely, yes, most definitely. So we've got border dies here. They're really, really beautiful. We've got a little door and you could use this as the little house front. This one has a little window. This actually is the shutters, I think. And that is a cutting line rather than a debossing line. So that will open. All of those are going to look absolutely beautiful on cards. And then of course you can build up little scenes with all of these little things and obviously this would make a really beautiful harvest scene with some of these piled up at the door, pumpkins and whatnot. It's also got a beautiful little porch here so that that will look really lovely. It's a porch veranda type of style thing to go around the front and lots and lots of little elements that you can add. So we've got two dies there that you can see don't really coordinate with anything else here. Those are for here. This one fits the window boxes um, and this one I think fits this little bunch of flowers here, this little shrub. So we've got window boxes here and this one here. There's a beautiful little stamped door and the window with curtains, a lovely little sort of fairy style type door there. And it's foliage, bricks and all sorts of really pretty things there that says, Hello summer, have a merry little Christmas, home sweet home, happy new home trick or treat. So that, uh, hello spring, did I say that one? Yep. Yeah. That covers a awful lot of uh, seasons and events as well. So this could uh, be used to house a little gift for someone moving into their new home. It could be used for a Christmas box or, or as I said before, little Halloween treats. So I have a little bundle that I'm going to use along with this. It's called a Funfetti bundle and I'm told this is available throughout birthday week. Maybe longer as well, I'm not too sure. But I picked this one and it's really beautiful. The colours are going to look really lovely with that. And you might want to check this out as well if you're interested. So this is Petal Pink Iridescent Mirror Card. Really gorgeous stuff. Silver Screen um, Glitter Card. Pearl White Pearlized Card. And Tropical Tide Glitter Card. So we've got those and then there's some embellishment mousses in this one. So there is Aquamarine Spring Me Spring green and lilac lavender in those and we have pure sheen confetti these are iridescent circles those are fantastic in a shaker card really really sparkly and very very festive as well and then we've also got crystal drops and these ones are called caribbean ocean now i may not use all of those things in this uh, video but uh, i just wanted to show you that they are all available in that bundle and i think i'm going to team this up with some white 300 GSM smooth card for the base of my little house but I'm going to go and do some die cutting and I'll be back in just a minute or two. The main body of the little house or box or whatever it is is made up of these three dies so you'll need to cut this one out five times and this one out twice 
and this one out twice. Now, the reason you need five of these is two are going to be used for the front and the back of the house. One is for the base and the other two are for the roof. They will be shaped slightly whenever I come to do that. So I'm going to put two of those aside right away. And on the one for the base of the house, I've cut off the tab and I'm just going to set that aside. And I won't need these ones just yet until I come back to do that roof, but I've cut them out now and I'll just keep them there ready. So what we need to do now is attach these and then you would make up the little house. So you'll add them all in a row by putting glue on this tab here, there, then another one here, and then this one onto here. So I'll zoom that out a little bit just so you can see it better. So we've got here, 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 and here. I've used this panel then and I've cut that out in some glitter card. I'm actually going to use the silver glitter on the roof as well, I think at this at this stage. But I'm um, going to put that on there and obviously then that's going to be the front and the back of the house. And then I've taken that beautiful iridescent mirror card, it's really really gorgeous. And I've cut that out in with this die and then I've added the silver glitter onto the top of that. So I've used both of these dies together on the silver glitter card and then glued that right on there. And you can see just every now and then I left a little one or two of the bricks in and uh, just didn't pop them all out. So that's going to go on there and I've done exactly the same for here. So I've actually added a little window with shutters on there and I was just going to show you how I've done that. So this die and this one together and that will give you this shape here and the, the little shutters open then. I think I showed you this at the start. There's a little slit down there. So if you want those to open, just remember to only put glue right, right around the outside there and don't get it on the centre or don't get it on anywhere near where those little doors are. And then they will be able to be opened. And I'm going to pop that on there. Now, I've kind of hemmed and had with this and I wasn't too sure which panel I wanted on because I was going to put plain with this one. I was going to add the Caribbean Tide on there and bring all of these colours together and then I thought I'll add the silver. It's been one of those ones where I wasn't too sure what to do but I then I, I took the, the iridescent mirror card and I used this beautiful brick effect stencil and I've used some of this uh, embellishment mousse with it. So this is the um, lilac lavender one and I stenciled it through with this and if you're going to do that just remember to keep moving the mousse this way whenever you're trying to remove the excess and that way you'll get a good smooth clean finish with it. It does take a, a minute or two longer to dry on top of mirror card than it would if you were just using it on plain card but it turned out really lovely. I didn't even need, well it's kind of warm today so I didn't need to dry that even with the heat gun, it dried itself so I'm going to go ahead and glue that on there. No, I think there was just too many nice things there and I couldn't make my mind up because they're all so beautiful but I've decided to go ahead and stencil this again so you can watch how I do that because the last time was just a trial and uh, I didn't film it because I wasn't actually expecting to like it so much but here we are. I've taped the stencil on at the back and then I've just run this across here so that I don't start wasting mousse by stenciling through that other part of it as well. And I'm just going to apply it this way and go across the way and that way we'll get a fairly even coverage.
I just left this to air dry naturally the last time but I need to carry on with it this time. It was just a little experiment and I set it aside but I'm going to heat, uh, dry it off with my heat gun this time and keep it quite far away from it so that I don't make it bubble. I've got lots of little pieces cut out for the windows and the doors and I'm going to go ahead and put those on the front here. So I have the panels cut for the windows and I used this square. I cut this one out in silver and then I cut this one and this one together in the perfect petals and glued that on top and I've done that four times so I have my four little windows and I'm going to glue those on there. And then I've cut the door out in the iridescent mirror card again and I've cut it out in white but on this one I'm going to glue this directly on top of here on this one I have used this little die in the top to cut out that detail and then I have used this little panel on here and you'll be able to see those through the white whenever I glue those two together and that one obviously the little door opens and that and it's really really beautiful so I'll, dye, I'll uh, glue those together then I have cut out this panel now there's no instructions for this so uh, at least in, this, in the piece that I have seen so far, so uh, it's not too difficult, in fact it's very very easy but it's just not in the instructions, so cut out two of these and then if you're wanting a little porch, you can have the door just flat on here but if you want the little porch way and then you can cut these little panels and there are actually detailed dies to go inside that as well but I've kept this with the silver and if you burnish all those little score lines You'll be able to put these over and you'll just need to cut off one of these little glue tabs here and then glue this together like so. Then that will form your little porch. And just make sure that everything's dried properly before you try to attach it. But when you've got all those little score lines burnished at the back they're the ones that you're going to glue right on here to make the little porchway. So you'll put glue on there and attach those on here and then your little door will go straight onto there. There's also a little roof that can go on there as well. So I've die cut this one uh, from silver glitter card as well and I'm going to put that on over there. And I suppose I didn't really need those panels but anyhow I've got them cut and that's it. So um, I'm going to go ahead and glue all these pieces on there and you can watch while I do that. Now you can go ahead and add glue onto this tab and fold the little house up and join all that together. When I've got that glued on then you'll see me go ahead with the piece that I have already cut the extra tab off and I'll pop that down in there and that will be the inside base of it. back to the roof panels then I have added some silver glitter card onto the top and I gave them a little mold just a little curve by putting my bone folder on there and just curling the card just slightly to give it a little bit of a, a bend on it and you can see that there and you can help it on its way just by springing it back and forwards for a bit you definitely don't want to have a fold in it but just spring it back and forwards a little bit now these are the little side panels that I had before and I've used these two little dies again just to match the sides so you can see here I've done exactly the same thing I took this panel with the iridescent mirror card and then I used both of them together with the silver glitter card and I glued that on top and then all of these little tabs here have been folded back 
and they are going to get glued on here. So you want to start off up at the top and then this will create the little <laughs> the little roof. This is the top. This will create the little roof and you'll glue that on there. Then you'll put the other one on the back and then this is where this beautiful little die comes in, into place here and I've cut this in the iridescent mirror card again. That's this one and that would make it a beautiful little border die if you just wanted to use it for a card. You could cut this off and you'd have two little borders. But I have used it here and folded it over and that's going to go over the top of the roof. So I'm going to go ahead now and glue all this together. Isn't that really, really beautiful? I love that little part across the top as well there and the colours are so gorgeous in this. But anyway, that's the roof and the lid all in one and that just pops on over the top there and there's a beautiful little box. Now, there is a little dormer window for up here so I'm going to go ahead and put that on as well. And that comes in the shape of these dies. So I've already got them ready to go on so I'll show you what I've done. This one cuts out this shape and then there's a little triangle one uh, somewhere here, this one. So it's got little tabs on it and then you've got the decorative detail that will go into the centre of both of these and this one here has the little window on it and I've just drug, uh, there it is, those two and I have glued that on there and this on here. Now this goes just inside here where these two glue tabs go right in there and when you've got that ready then these glue tabs will just fit into the curve of that roof. I'll glue them together and then we'll just attach that. Now obviously that needs to be directly above the door just to keep it all in line and when you have the glue on the glue tabs you'll sort of feel that fit into the curve of the roof and then you can just hold it in place. This will take a minute or two extra obviously because I'm gluing it onto glitter card so I'll just hold this for a second or two and then we're good to go. I've cut out two of these in white and this is the little veranda piece so you can see here actually I'll show you on this one you can just about see there are three pieces here that are the same size and then this one is wider and just above that there's a little score line so you want to fold that over there and then fold these two tabs back right at the edge there. And now all you need to do is glue here. So that's this top tab, turn it over and then this one. And you can go ahead and glue that one on there. That fold is the corner and then this other piece goes on here. And you've got a lovely little veranda or I'm not actually sure the name of it but it goes on there anyway and it looks really really beautiful. I thought that was going to be beautiful when I started but I didn't realise just how pretty it was going to be. Really really gorgeous. I was just looking at the bundle that was on my desk and the iridescent circles in that looked absolutely beautiful and I just thought I have to add some of those on there so all I've done is added a little bit of glue across the top and you know I can see it's not even showing up as well in that video as it looks in real life. This is absolutely beautiful and I'm delighted with it so I'm just going to show you what I did. I don't even know why I was so stupid to try it out on the front first. I was kind of uh, a bit naive but it did work anyway and I probably should have tried it on the back but all I'm doing is putting some of this Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive on here and then I'm sprinkling the iridescent circles onto the top of that and tapping off the excess. I've got them on top of a piece of um, paper here so that I can fold the paper in two and put back into the container the bits I don't need, the bits that I'm not using so I don't waste any because they're gorgeous. I 
Oh yes, I love that. Now I'm going to add a little bit around here at the front as well, I think. Now that I've done that, I think it needs just a little bit, maybe on the roof here, but definitely on here and here. I think my brain went into overdrive or something after I saw this one. It is just so, so pretty and I wanted to make something else. And I thought I would make a little memory book or something. There's lots of ways I could have used these dies for that. This could have been the front. It could have been very, very simple. The front and then this, this one here fold over the die that I've used here. And I could put a spine in the center, elongate that, or sorry, widen that a little bit and then put several pages in because these pages then would glue together and you could pop them in, make pockets or whatever from them and put little doors, little windows. Oh, anyway, I don't have time to do all of that. So I had, I thought of something else and I wanted to make a house that you could see some light through. So this is my little trial panel and I have put the glue onto the front. I actually should have just done it on one of these panels. I'm going to have to do that again, but I wanted to be sure that it was going to work. I have glued the, the glitter card onto the white panel and then I've put it through my die cutting machine and it just takes two or three turns and you can get that little piece there and it goes right through the two layers. So that's this one. It goes through those two layers and it gives you this little aperture. Then you can go ahead with the two of those together and cut out the window frame and put that on there. And then I have gone ahead with this die and I've cut that through there and I've left this so that you can actually see the light coming through there but I'm still going to add the porch on. I'll go ahead and do this properly on one of these and then I'll come back and show you how to add the porch on. It's really really simple now that I've worked it out. Now I still want the little porch on as I said so I have cut these two dies again, the same little one that I put on for the porch in the other house and this is the good side here and I've folded these two parts backwards and I'm going to put them inside this time instead of attaching them to the top so they go in there and they're going to get glued in behind and I've already cut off one of the tabs there so I'll just fold this one over and glue that in there uh, fold, fold this back sorry this way so that we've got the good side facing outwards and that will go in there like that. That will get folded over and then I'll be able to add little panels on the side after that but I've got my little door then and I have die cut through there and you'll be able to see the little lights come through there as well. So when I get all that glued up I'll still have my little porch and the door and the light will be able to come through both of them. Oh that makes me happy. <laughs> went ahead then and made up the little house so I've got the front all on and I haven't covered this little bit in yet I'll do that in a moment or two but I have put the sides on and I wanted to let some light come out here as well so I have made a little panel in the um, glitter card and then I have overlaid that with this silver but before I put the silver on I took this little die that cuts out the doors and I put that right through there and actually right through the white and the glitter before I attached the sides. So obviously all of this was done before I attached the sides. And that meant then that I was able to just pop those little doors open and a little bit of light will come out there on both sides. So I've left this with just the little holes and the white showing through. You could obviously push that through a time or two more through your die cutting machine and the holes would go right through but I thought that was a rather lovely little detail. Now, I've got the front here and as you can see that looks really, really beautiful. That look, I've actually tried some lights in it and I absolutely love it. But, you've got this space at the bottom and I was going to leave that like that and I thought it would be nice, you'd have a little bit of light coming out there too. And I definitely want that door to be open a little bit so that the light can come out there. 
but I thought I'll finish this piece off because I'm going to add a panel on over here anyhow to cover all these glue tabs. So I've taken a little piece of card, just a bit of white card, the same as I've used for the base here. So this is 300 GSM and I have cut that to 5.4 centimetres across this way and by 2.6 centimetres this way and then you can see that I have scored and folded that in at one centimetre on either side on that long side and just at one centimetre on one side here and I've folded those two and I've left that one flat because that's just a little guide and what I'm going to do now then is uh, just to keep this door open but I want to stabilise this onto the back and I'm going to put glue on these two tabs here pop that up inside there and glue those together and then you can see that that goes right across here and that little guide is just in the right place and when I've that glued on I can do this put the extra panel on there and I've got that all lovely and sealed up at the bottom but you'll still be able to see the light coming out through the door as well and I really love that I think it's so cute absolutely love the way this turned out. I made the little roof in the same way as I made the other one with the glitter card on top and added this little dormer window on and then you can see there that I have added the ridge with the pearlized card so that's the white pearl card from the same little uh, bundle that I was using and I've added some little lights with this beautiful little die here and I just added a couple across here and then some in there and the rest across the front there of the house. Do you know, I didn't have a, a little tea light to hand so I had just a little set of battery lights which I've put inside just to show me how that was going to look. And it's even light right now but I love that. And you can see the light just peeping out through here and here. I'll definitely take more photographs um, whenever it's darker and we'll have another look at that. But that's just exactly as I intended it to look and I'm really pleased with that. Please let me know if you think it was worth going to the trouble of doing that. It wasn't an awful lot of extra trouble but just adding this little piece on and making the door open I think added that extra bit to it just to get a little more light out of it. I actually had thought of putting some silver glitter card or something inside to reflect the light but I think the white inside is just perfect with that now. Here's a little tip which you might find helpful. I spent a lot of years working in the building industry and some of these little things just come naturally now so uh, they sort of drift into crafting as well. But if you have made up your little roof and you're going to put lights inside and you might have just got one or two little gaps between those glue tabs in there and you don't want the light coming out through those, a really, really good way to make that tight and no light coming through is to grab some of your chalk white vintage drops. Actually, it's, it's uh, only a tiny drop you're using, so maybe even gloss white crystal drops would do, but I've used the chalk white chalk stick vintage drops and you can see there right in between every one of those little semicircles hopefully you can see that I've just added a dot of this in there and that has filled every little hole and there's no light going to come out through there and I've done it on both sides I hope you can see that I can't yeah you can see it so just in there and it does the trick really really well it sort of made me think of like builder's caulk or painter's mate or something like that where you would fill it in little holes it's really really neat looking inside and it's extra neat looking outside and then if you're really really uh extra uh, do you know i i know i'm fussy but a tiny tiny drop of it up in here because sometimes this little roof wants to slide up a little bit the little top piece and I have put a tiny, tiny piece on the end of a bit of card. So it was really just a piece on the end of card. Put it in there and rubbed it right off immediately with my finger. And you're not going to get any mess from it. You're just going to get that little area filled in. And then it's all light. The light doesn't come out through any of it. And little things like that just make me happy because it's so perfect. I hope you find that helpful too. 
So I have now got the two finished. Um, I could have really gone ahead and made a more summery house or I could have made a Halloween house. That's not really me actually so I probably wouldn't have but um, I could have made a little summery house or a little autumn house or whatever because there's so many stamps and things there that I haven't even used yet. But look at those, aren't they beautiful? <laughs> oh I love them. Anyway, there are the stamps and I probably should give you a few ideas with that. I think these would be best used on something flat, although you could use and not maybe a little 2D or 3D house, uh, 3D. So uh, I think the foliage certainly would look best on a card, although if you didn't have all of this detail on the side, you could stamp it on there. All of that would have to be done before you assemble because there's no way you could you could stamp after that was on. Uh, and this little door could, the little windows are really beautiful. You would use those in behind the arched part that I've just taken out with this on the side windows here. And that would be really, really nice as well. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed this because I, this was in my mind and I wanted to do it. And I know I haven't gone an awful lot further with lots of the little decorative pieces on there. The Christmas decorations and all those little um, tiny bits and pieces. But I really want you to know that it's possible to do this and it's also possible to make a lovely lovely Christmas one but you could definitely go ahead and use even some of these this piece that I've cut out would look really really beautiful on a card and I could just uh, stamp that in the little door back in there and on a piece of white card and set it in and I could even put vellum in behind that I could put vellum in behind that as well but I actually just like it the way it is because it's given quite a lot of light off anyway I think I've talked more than enough in this video um, I really, really love it. I've said that a few times, but I really do. And I hope you love it too. I'm very enthusiastic about that because it's just turned out exactly as it has been in my mind. And that doesn't always happen. <laughs> Thank you so, so much. My affiliate links to everything that I've used will be down below in the description of the video. And I know several of you are using those quite often now, and I really, really appreciate that. I get a little commission from that, but it doesn't cost you anything else. And I do really, really appreciate that. And also, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd love you to do that and hit the notification bell. And if you have time, leave me a little comment. The little comments help in lots of ways because they help keep my channel going. They help promote it. They keep it current. They keep it up to date. But they also help me to know what you're thinking as well. And I love that interaction. I love to know what you think of some of the things that I made. And uh, it's always good to get to know you as well. So thank you so, so much once again. And until next time. Happy crafting. Bye bye.